Guatemala and El Salvador are two traditionally strong coffee producing countries. Coffee represents 40% of all agricultural exports in Guatemala and 50% in El Salvador. Coffee farming in these countries provides a living for thousands while maintaining a healthy balance with the environment. This is vitally important. In developing countries like these with high levels of poverty, many citizens are concerned with mere survival. The resulting environmental pressures often lead to a vicious cycle that includes deforestation, extinction of wildlife, and ultimately a net reduction in the water supply and arable land. I recently visited these countries as a guest of a non-governmental organization known as the Rainforest Alliance. Rainforest Alliance operates in 57 countries pursuing an agenda of sustainability in forestry, agriculture, and ecotourism. Our trip began in Guatemala. Guatemala is home to the second largest rainforest in the Americas. Since 2003, when Rainforest Alliance certified its first coffee farm in Guatemala, 50 farms and five co-ops have earned the Rainforest Alliance seal. The area of these farms equates to 16,000 hectares, or 6% of the available coffee farming land in the country. There is no equivalent to our Environmental Protection Agency, or Occupational Safety and Health Administration in Guatemala. 32% of the population earns less than $2 per day. The lack of basic sanitation, education, and health care has led to high rates of infant mortality, malnutrition, illiteracy, and a reduced lifespan for many. The Guatemalan government is strained to invest in the modernization of their infrastructure. So, international organizations like Rainforest Alliance fill a giant void. During my stay, I saw their positive impact firsthand. One of our first visits was to a farm, a finca, called Buenos Aires. I was met there by Felipe Guzman and his wife Maria. Buenos Aires has been in Ms. Guzman's family for six generations and has been Rainforest Alliance certified for five years. The rainforest on their property literally thrives. The canopy of trees boasts 720 different species and documenting biodiversity is a certification requirement for the Rainforest Alliance. Tall shade allows coffee trees, which are shrub-like and need about 40% shade, to live in harmony with the ecosystem, yet still yield outstanding fruit. The farm also uses environmentally friendly methods to control insect pests. Buenos Aires is a small farm, producing only about 1,000 bags, 150 pounds each, of beans per year. Workers are paid by piece rate based on the weight of the cherries harvested that day. The weight is recorded on two sets of books and all workers are free to examine and challenge the accounting. Next, the cherries are dropped into a depulping machine that removes the beans, typically two per cherry, from their skin. The skins are later used as organic compost fertilizer for the coffee seedling nursery. The beans are allowed to soak for the night before being spread onto a patio for drying in the sun. During the peak harvest season, a mechanical dryer is used to expedite the drying process. I was sad to leave the beauty and hospitality of the historic Finca de Buenos Aires. As we rode to our next stop at the Finca de San Francisco near Columba, I wondered why a farm owner would want to become Rainforest Alliance certified. It's not easy. With 94 criteria, 14 critical, certification is challenging for farmers. It takes quite an investment in time and resources to acquire the Rainforest Alliance seal. For owner Herbert Gossman, the answer to my question was multifaceted. He mentioned how Rainforest Alliance had taught him to let wild vegetation grow on roadsides, which slowed water runoff and reduced the cost of repairing washed out roads. He is proud of the social programs implemented on the farm. It's the right thing to do, he says, of the housing, the schools, athletic programs, and health and safety initiatives at Finca de San Francisco. But it's also good business. He's seeing higher productivity from his workers, higher yields because of advanced crop management techniques, and he expects the quality rating of his beans to rise also. All this will drive greater profitability. My trip concluded in El Salvador. 
The heritage of El Salvador's coffee industry begins with coffee trees brought from Colombia in 1740. The original species, Bourbon, is prized for its cherries and accounts for 68% of the total coffee plantations in the country. My final farm visit was to El Cipres, the cypress trees, a coffee estate 30 minutes up the volcano from San Salvador. There I met owner Jaime Alvarez. Mr. Alvarez took over management of the farm recently, following in the footsteps of his father. The younger Alvarez had life-threatening heart surgery only a year earlier. His new lifestyle called for no more smoking, an hour of daily prayer, and running the farm Rainforest Alliance's way. Elsie Press is an old-fashioned coffee farm. The Kawasaki four-wheeler I finally recall from Guatemala was replaced here by two oxen and a horse. All workers were provided with one giant tortilla in the morning, baked in an old-fashioned cochina. These are the ways practiced by Salvadorians for decades. But hope surrounds Elsie Press as abundantly as the beautiful flowers surrounding the makeshift outdoor shower. In El Salvador, 30% of the farms are already Rainforest Alliance certified. Over the next 10 years, certification will become the norm. Better practices will mean better working conditions and better pay. Farms will be more productive, but always in harmony with the ecosystem. El Salvador, like Guatemala, will produce some of the finest coffees in the world, including boutique coffees placing in the global Cup of Excellence competitions. With visionary farmers like Felipe Guzman, Herbert Gossman, and Jaime Alvarez, the coffee industry in Central America will be credited with helping advance a society while preserving the environment. At s and Coffee, we are inspired by the hard work and dedication required to bring a single pound of coffee to our customers. And we are committed to broad support of the global coffee community. Because of that commitment, we are proud to actively participate with organizations like the Rainforest Alliance that make a positive difference in the world and in the lives of coffee-growing families. I'm John Buckner, Director of Marketing for S&D Coffee.